Let's check in with meteorologist Stacey Ann Gooden, who's in for our Byron Miranda today. Good morning to you, Stacey Ann. Good morning, Kirsten. Good morning, John. Yeah, we're off to a pretty nice start. I mean, yeah, we're dealing with some areas of fog and the clouds are going to dominate, but we are looking for the potential of a few sprinkles. Now, just, just pay close attention because these are the best times, 2 to 8 p.m. We can't rule out a few sprinkles before then, so if you happen to be grabbing a lunch or something and notice a little sprinkle or two, don't be too concerned. A lot of it is short-lived and scattered. We warm up for tomorrow. It's going to be less humid too, but we are tracking heightened rip risk at the Atlantic beaches. Remember the beaches are still open this week. Lifeguards are on duty, but if you are going to be heading out, just be careful. We're in the upper 60s, low 70s. So the winds are still a little bit breezy and we need those winds to pick up. It helps with the, the fog that we're dealing with in some cases, and it's pretty intense in some areas, especially further inland across the Hudson Valley, but not too bad in the city and Long Island. Not too bad either. Uh, maybe if you're in Islip or so, you'll notice a little bit more of a reduced visibility. Then we're tracking this area of low pressure again, remaining offshore, but it looks like it's pretty close to that coast there, especially the mid-Atlantic, but no worries. It's something we're going to closely monitor in the next uh, few days or so. It does have the potential to develop into our next system. That high is important, though, because it's kind of helping to steer that away as well, but along with that high will come nice, crisp conditions eventually. We'll see the sunshine. It may take a little while. And there's that area of low pressure we're tracking. This has the potential of becoming Odette. Right now, though, not too bad. The wind shear is quite rapid, which means it's not allowing for this thing to get further enhance or you know develop any further but the waters are really warm kind of soupy we're in the 80s and the threshold for these to develop is usually around 78 degrees or higher uh, when you have conditions like that it does increase that uh, energy and allows these systems to further enhance and develop but scattered showers are quite possible we can't rule it out again that high will remain entrenched for the time being this cold we're tracking this cold front not packing a lot of moisture if you notice behind it we're not seeing a lot of green which is certainly good news because if you have any outdoor plans you shouldn't uh, have to worry we dry out there after that cold front though may bring those temperatures down for Sunday. Heightened rip rinse, very dangerous at the beaches, so be careful out there. And there's a look at your baseball forecast. The Mets will be playing the Phillies, and we'll be in the 60s and 70s throughout the game.